Hey, it's Brigzar. In this video, I'm just going to look at my wanted list uh, with this impossible Lego challenge that I'm on where I'm trying not to buy any Lego sets or pieces or anything uh, till the end of 2017. I needed to go through and delete my wanted list or the items I had in my shopping cart in my wanted list, not delete my wanted list. So I, that will reduce the temptation. One of these was very hard to delete. Uh, but uh, And then I'm also going to show you how to upload an XML file to uh, BrickLink in your wanted list, but don't do it the way I do it because you'll have a huge wanted list. But if that's if you're just looking to build something uh, that you already have the XML file, this is uh, how you do it. We're going to be looking at something from the book called The Lego Neighborhood and the Chemist Store. So here it is. All right. So I received an email about um, how to find parts for an idea that's in a, a Lego book made by No Starch Press. I think it's called Lego Neighborhood. I may have that book. I'm not even sure. But um, somebody emailed me and they were trying to figure out how do they go about getting these pieces from BrickLink. They're new to BrickLink, new to this type of thing. So basically the instructions in the Lego Neighborhood is you go to their website and you can download the file that has all the parts that you need. And it's an XML file. I actually have the file the uh, that was emailed to me. I want to open it with text. <laughs> All right, there it is. All right, so it's a really big file. I'm just scrolling through it real fast, and it is in the XML uh, format. There you go. <laughs> so I want to I want to select all. I want to copy it. So I've copied that. Now go back to BrickLink, and I go to my wanted list. Up here on the top, you see the heart. It's my wanted list. So I click on that wanted list. I could have done one of the drop downs too. But you can, these are, these are all mine. And I had this one I was starting when I was testing this out. But I'm just going to go here. I want to upload. And I want to do it this way. So you can select a file from your computer. But since I've already copied that thing, I want to paste it. Now watch this. I want to verify. And this will show you when it gets done. It will show you all the parts uh, that are in that chemist store. All right. So it's 341 unique items. So what you would need to do is if you were trying to build the chemist store, this is your wanted list. This shows you everything you need. It shows you the quantity. Over here is the quantity that you need and that's a lot of different parts to go through uh, to get but that's what you're going to do if you're trying to build somebody else's mock you just you're going to have to go through and so what you would, the first thing you would do is figure out what what pieces you already have and let's say like here you need the dark red brick there's 101 of those if you only had 50 you would change the quantity to 51 if you had all of them, you would delete them. Over here on the right side, you can exclude it right here. Or if you wanted to delete it, you could just delete it. But I would probably just exclude it in case you wanted to save the file. But it is there are so many parts. Some of them, you only need one part. But this is the wanted list for that. And what I would... Oh, let's go down to the bottom. Wow, look at all those parts. And of course, you'd have a lot of round parts, <laughs> being that it's a chemist. That's all the chemicals, I'm sure. <laughs> wow. I really should look that up in the Lego neighborhood. Wow, look at all these tiles. There's a head, clear head. Nice. And these are probably more chemicals. A lot of these uh, round parts. More chemicals. Got to make a lot of beakers and things like that. Man, this one would take a while. So if I want to add it to the wanted list, add to wanted list. I'm going to regret this. Oh, it's uploaded. <laughs> you wanted list. Yeah, I added it to my default wanted list. Dang, it. I should have added it. <laughs> Oh man, that's how not to do it. Now I got 413 items. Uh, 
Dang it. <laughs> but basically that's what you would do. And then you would just have to go through and delete anything you didn't want. Do everything that's in my default wanted list, which includes all those chemist things. And we're going to find stores. All right. And this will show you stores that have each of the individual parts. Bricklink will search for the best store or combination of stores that complete your wanted list. My wanted list is impossible to complete because it's got all the uh, rare stuff in there as well. There we go. Start is starting to show some of them down there. All right. This store, <laughs> let's do uh, one that had the most lots. Wow. What did Best Mickey have from my personal wanted list? Wow. All right, so they had a lot of the parts. That's how much it would cost. <laughs> a lot of bricks. I don't think this is right. Um, so as, as expected, not a lot of the stores are going to have a, a lot of unique lots. But if I go to, let's just click on this brick dude. Wanted list. He's only got that one thing. All right, let's go to unique lots. Wow, this is going to be tough. Really? This is brick mania. Go to my wanted list. So there's a lot of the chemist shop parts and other parts as well. That's kind of the way you do it. It's just it's not an exact science. But anyway, um, yeah, now I've really totally messed up my wanted list. All right, so here I am on the home page of BrickLink. I'm already logged in as my user. You can always tell this because you'll see little dots up here on the upper right-hand corner. It says my BL, my BrickLink. There's my little... Um, Sig fig, I got my shopping cart. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to look at my shopping cart, empty it out, show you things I had in my shopping cart, and also um, I might modify some things in my wanted list. So let's go to the shopping cart. I had eight stores with items in my shopping cart. So all these people are not going to get any purchases <laughs> from me. Starbeanie's Bricks, I think that was the um, Stardust figure. Oh, Biff Starling. Yeah, I was going to get uh, those, but I decided not to, so we are going to empty the cart. This is definitely something I need to put on my wanted list of Biff's Starling, so that is going away. I'm going to go back to the shopping cart. we we'll do Kubrick. What did I have there? Oh, yeah, Briggs R. Head. You know, I thought about getting those. It's just too hard. See, th this is the kind of things you run into. This 83 euro, and he only had four, so... Empty in the cart. Empty in the cart. Next one. We got which tail won 10,000 up to 87%. Did he change his name? I'm pretty sure I bought from this person before. What do I have here? Oh, it's the train conductor hat for um, Trains Are Fun. I'm going to empty that. I'm going to get 500 of those. Decided not to. All right, let's go to Principal Bricks. What was going on here at Principal Bricks? Oh, I think these were Darth Maul parts and that torso for Trains Are Fun. All right, let's, oh, did I, did I empty the cart for the other one? Okay, empty that. Good. All right, we're down to four. Trick it! Shop. Tick, tick, shop. Uh, that was for the train. I think I got those now. That was for the um, brick model railroader train. Emptying that out. Let's go to this one. This one had 15 lots. Sherry Tastic. Uh, those are more Darth Maul. Oh, this is what I went to her store for. If it is a girl. The uh, light gray 2x3 without cross support. They had 54 of them. Ugh. I wish I had 
bought that before. I need those. I need two by three light gray, old gray bricks, old style without cross supports. I need those, but uh, we can get them later. Let's uh, empty that car out. It is empty. Alrighty. Now we'll go. We've got two carts left to empty. We got, we'll do the smaller one. Brick takeover. Again, I was going for the hats at 400 in my thing. Just the chrome pieces were just added. But uh, I am deleting them. One more store left. Liberty Brick. Oh, I should have clicked on the cart. Oh! Uh, ah! <laughs> so this is, um, um, Matt, Matt, Matt's, uh, store. He's wrote a couple articles for Brick Model Railroad, or he's also got an article in, um, Brick Journal about vintage trains and stuff. And I was going to order these, uh, bricks and pieces from him. It's a good price on most of them. Some of them like $14. I'd rather pay 4 or 5 or 10 14 but, you know, those are probably harder to find. Actually, all of these are hard. You never find anybody selling these. So here's an opportunity for you guys to buy these from Matt. Because I'm not going to be able to uh, buy them during my challenge. So, uh, empty that out. Probably should have added them to my wanted list. All right, so what about BrickLink wanted list? Let's look at that. Uh, go to my BrickLink. And... I want to go to wanted. Where's the wanted list? Oh, it's over here on the very far right wanted list. What do I have? See, I need to, I need to clean this one up. This Darth Maul. Um. Yeah, I need to really clean this thing up. Let me. Um. How do I? Let me. Uh. Feature coming shoe sh 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 soon. <laughs> Share your wanted list. Okay. So I, I put in here all the Darth Maul pieces. And that's why the chrome silver antenna was in there. So what I need to do is I'm going to just... Uh, I need to delete this. So I want to delete. How do I delete... It's saying buy. I don't want to buy. I want to delete. All right. Let's do. I want to do more per page. Do 100 per page. Because these are all. Most of these are common pieces. Um, and I need to actually figure out which ones I still need. Because I've added some for my own collection. So I was trying to piece together the UCS sculpture. The uh, Darth Maul head thing, bust thing. Uh, it's, I got all the rare pieces from that. I just got to get all the common pieces now. So that's, that's all that's left with that one. All right, go back to my wanted list. Wanted list. That's what the little heart is for up there. All right, so I've... Let's look at all... Of, can I look at all of them? I just want to see all of my... There's four lists, default wanted list. What's in my default wanted list? All right, there's... Airport set. I'm just going to leave these. That's from set 1599. There's a store. I don't, actually don't need this one anymore, but I'll just leave it there. These are a lot of these. You'll see that there's not even anybody selling them. I actually don't need that one anymore. I'm leaving that. I needed that one. There's a Marisk one. Why is this in here? I think I need that. Yellow door. Just rare parts. The pirate. I don't need that pirate anymore. I don't need that anymore. I don't need that anymore. I don't need that because I have that. All right, so I'm going to delete those. Oh, I got the pen. There's Brick Shark. Always nice to keep Brick Shark in there. Delete that. Pretty sure I got that piece. That. That. Delete that. Let's change this 100 per page. I got a lot of things I need to add to the wanted list. All right. I don't need the panda anymore. 
I may need these at some point. I may need them. That's just dumb. All right. That's a good piece right there. Except 139, 138. A rare Fabuland Hippo from Lego Center. Birkin. This this is super rare. This is super rare. Uh, instructions for a fire engine. I don't think I need that one anymore. Don't need that anymore. Got that. I leave the poly bag in there. Lego Inside Tour show truck. Some more. Oh, I, you know, I got this, but I leave it in the um, wanted list. Leave that in the wanted list. The Sears exclusive train. Leaving the wanted list. The rare Quattro set. It's got two rare parts in there. They're only in that set. Scorpion detector. Shark attack. Oh, this. Oh. Plush shark. Gotta get that. All right. I think everything else can stay in here. I'll, I think I stole this out of one of my sets is why that's in there, so I'll leave that. All right, so that's a look at my wanted list. All right, in the comments below, if you have ever used the wanted list to build either a mock that you already knew the parts list for it, or a big set that had a lot of pieces. Tell me how you have done it to manage those pieces. I have done it using things like this, uh, downloading the, uh, the complete inventory and then deleting off the things that I don't need. Still seems like it takes a long time uh, uh, to build it. Uh, back in the old days, before all this software, I actually just printed out the list from BrickLink or Puron.com, printed out the parts list and just checked them off with a pen and paper. <laughs> Actually, that's still my preferred way to do it, is to actually print it out and check do the checklist like that. But let me know what you do, and I'll see you in the next video. Be sure to subscribe and keep, uh, keep coming up with the good questions. I will try to answer these uh, as I can with videos like this and hopefully better videos. See ya. Bye.